hello everybody and welcome back to my channel now there's a little little small thing i share with you with these kits i know this isn't a standard kit it's got these um, funky capacitors on and stuff but with these kits they come with a one ohm one watt resistor here and in my other uh, videos on these i'll link them in you can see the difference between you know if you're using these kits you, you see where we are we sit around about 0 0.1 uh, total harmonic distortion slightly under 0 um, 0.1 now I've been just been playing around with it and um, what I've done is on this I've actually put a 10 ohm resistor in still 1 watts but 10 ohms and uh, the results are the results are pretty good. So we're not going to go through the whole lot again. It's not going to be a long video. I'm going to take it straight over to the screen here. I'm just going to show you the results of it. And this is all at 25 volts. Uh, so we've got the 25 volts negative here. We've got a virtual ground here. And we've got a 25 volts positive here. Okay, I can turn that off now. Uh, we're going into 8 ohms. I've not tried it with 4 ohms. We're going into 8 ohms. And we're using the same scope here and the Digilent Analog Discovery 2. All right, so let's take a peek at the results. Now, first of all, this is the uh, this is the distortion, total harmonic distortion. And here we start coming in at 20 hertz. Uh, so let's get there 20 hertz and we're at 0 0.12384 and you see these numbers at the top right up here okay and as we go into 30 hertz we're at 0 0.860 and then we go into 40 hertz 0 0.6 let's not bore the life out of ourselves we get to 100 hertz and we're on 0 0.04 we go through next stage here will be uh, 300 hertz 0 0.0455 uh, we're here 0 0.45 0 0.0455 and now we're at um, 4 kilohertz 4 hertz, uh, kilohertz yes 0 0.044 and now we're at 10 kilohertz 0 0.042 we got a little peak there of 0 0.05. That's my crazy cat. That's that's uh, 14 and a half kilohertz. And as we get to the 20, here we're at 0 0.035. Very good. That is a definite improvement uh, from before. Now, if we look at the secondary harmonic here, we can see that's all the way down right from the start. 0 0.037. I'm going to go through the whole lot, trying to make this quick as possible. 0 0.032, and all the way down. Let's try and find a peak somewhere. Let's say about there. 0 0.028. That's not much of a peak, is it? Um, but even down here, look. 0 0.00972. Yampy cat. If you can hear him, it's my cat just jumping about the place. Now we're going to look at the. Um, total harmonic distortion plus no noise versus power now we come in of course we're coming in at one millivolts and we're going all the way up to 100 watts but it will cut out at one percent because i've told it to as soon as we get to one percent that's it shut the test down so as we're coming in the power is going up and we get to the first stage here and the power we can see over here the power and we can see we're at two watts we're at 28 there now uh, we're at 2 watts here and it's 0 0.03 and as we go across to the next line it's 3 watts 0 0.03 but we're going to skip across a little tiny bit here to 7 watts so 0 0.04 and we'll skip up to 15 watts 0 0.05 22 watts 0 0.04 and we get all the way to 26 5.9 let's say 26 watts at 0 0.04 again that's better that is better frequency response well I'm glad to say the frequency response is still pretty darn good 
Well, we start off here at 20 hertz and we are, if you look over here, you get to see what the dB is for our gain and you also get to see what the dB relative to the input signal is. So at 20 hertz, we're at 0 0.20 dB. We go to where it sort of looks like it sort of peaks up to the highest part there. And then with uh, the DBR is um, 0 0.06 and we're at 27.1 dB and that's at 50 hertz basically. We go all the way across, it's a lovely, even flat response. No real deviation, only measurable in the um, in the tens of milli dB. And this is when we're at, uh, that's at 30 hertz, so really we're only measuring to here anyway. And we are still at 27.0 dB. So no great fluctuation or anything like that. That's much better. This is a lot better now. We can see it is definitely under the, um, oh, let's go back to THD. Definitely underneath that 0 0.1 percent where we were before we were basically just sticking just under it i mean it is now spec and this is not a bought chip uh, no store bought chip this is just the chip that is supplied with it um so it is basically the kit just find 10 ohm resistors one more and stick them on there so we're just, just going to tack on a little bit of music onto the end of this see what you think to this uh, this is another uh, freebie. It's a track called Motivate Sound, Alex Zavza. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. 176 kilobits MP3. sound bad at all from where I'm sitting. <clears throat> Doesn't sound bad at all. I just wonder if there's, a, if there's anything else I can use. From my position here, even if it's just running out one speaker, it sounds great. Sounds absolutely great. Um, I don't think you can actually beat these for a little tiny, what it is, for a little tiny setup like that. I don't think there's a way to really beat it. Anyway, that's my opinion. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.